Right. All right. Yes. <laughs> this place reminds me of home. Do you have anything you want to ask me about any of this? There's no one else listening here, so I might be able to answer. Well, remember how after we escaped from the organization, I let you drink my blood? That's when it happened. You were entering into a blood contract with me. See, I'm not human. Throughout history, people have used many names to describe our kind. Goblins, phantoms, demons, even gods. But we're more properly known as Night Eaters. And if we Night Eaters willingly share the blood that flows within our veins, we can create minions for ourselves, known as familiars. Though, we can each take only one familiar in the course of our lives. The familiar's primary characteristic is to inherit the powers of the Night Eater, gaining strength far beyond that of an ordinary man. Much like the strength you've displayed in battle. I would say the vast majority of the power you've felt comes from me, in fact. Not from your transformation into a Synthester. The familiar's job is to hunt Synthesters alongside his Night Eater benefactor. And Synthesters were originally sad, pitiable shells of humans whose lust and greed had grown so enormous that it changed them into hideous beasts. They sucked the life energy from others as fuel for the pursuit of their desires, knowing and fearing that oblivion awaits them if their greed should ever dry up. We Night Eaters are cut from the same cloth, so to speak, but the key difference is we retained our ability to reason, and somehow came to be revered, and feared, and worshipped. Over time, for each incident involving the Synthesters, there was always some question as to whether or not we Night Eaters were involved as well. And yet all we wish for is to live in peace and tranquility. That's why we hunt the Synthesters. We expose them to the purifying light of the sun so that they may become human once more. Though whether or not that happens depends entirely on the person. And familiars are different. Familiars can never be human again, sunlight or no. At least, I've never heard of a way. Back when I made the blood contract with you, you were breaking down on a cellular level. I made you my familiar, solely to save your life. But in doing so, I turned you into something inhuman. I can never apologize enough for what I've done. There are other things we should discuss as well, I believe.
It might be overwhelming if I were to reveal too much at once. I'd prefer to explain it all little by little. But I promise, your questions will be answered. I want you to know, however, that I do accept full responsibility for your condition, and that what I've done to you weighs on me very heavily. I am truly, deeply sorry. Come on. I'm sure the others must be worried about us by now. We should head back. I need to tell them what I did to you as well. All right. Really? You there.